Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So today I am doing a first impression testing of the Bad Habits Divine Palette. So the Divine Palette is a knockoff of one of Natasha Denona's palettes. I've used Natasha Denona's palettes, however, Sunset Palette and second one escapes me. So I did not purchase the, the actual Natasha Denona. I thought, well, I'll go ahead and pick up Bad Habits Divine Palette because Bad Habit usually does a great job at doing dupes. And so I don't know if it's just me. Did I get a bad palette? What's going on here? But I cannot recommend this in a first impression. In fact, I really didn't enjoy using this at all. And so I'm not going to be trying a different look with it even. Um, so let me tell you kind of my thoughts on this palette and you can decide definitely for yourself this isn't just one that I, I feel like I can recommend after today so there's a lot of fallout and even though I tap my brush you could see how irritated my eye is it's already watering like crazy um, and I did try to tap my brush a lot I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but when I lean my head back, I can really see how patchy this is. And I blended, I I mean, I did everything I normally do. I don't know if that's good or bad. But um, yeah, when I, I mean, I tried to blend these out and they're very, very patchy. So the other thing that I didn't like is, okay, so I used Soul, Blasphemy, Gaia, Hades, that's EOS, don't know how to pronounce it. I'd say put it in the boxes below, but how's that going to help me? Uh, Freyanthea. So, um, I'm used to these kind of shimmery shadows to be creamy. These things were dry. Like, Freya was so chunky when I put my brush through it, it pulled up a bunch of the product and I was like, oh my gosh, this is not good. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to switch to my finger. So I used my finger on Soul and Thea. So Soul basically went on and it's, it's shimmery in some areas and gone in others. It's it like it disappeared already. And I've only had this on my face for maybe 10 minutes. Um, the fallout on this is over the top. So like if you, let's say you love this palette and you have a favorite color, it's not going to be very long before that color is absolutely gone. This thing has, you barely put your, your brush in and it's, it's everywhere. Um, so I really didn't like the dryness, the patchiness. I mean, the colors in here are beautiful. I mean, Natasha does a great job at, at picking colors, but after today, I just, I really don't want to try this again. Um, so, I don't know what happened because I just actually told someone about Bad Habit. I was like, shop the Bad Habit. They've got great dupes. Um, they, they normally have such great dupes that I'm not buying the Sultry palette from ABH because I'm waiting for them to put out a dupe because I like their dupes. In fact, I'm trying to remember which video it was that I had done a dupe and I actually liked the Bad Habit palette way better than the ABH palette. So I am so confused on what happened with Divine. Bad Habit really does a, a great job and this one just, I'm having a hell of a time with it. Um, they are cruelty free. It was designed in Los Angeles but made in PRC. Um, you can check out Bad Habit at badhabitbeauty.com or at Bad Habit Beauty. So anyways, if you guys have used this palette, um, let me know. Have you had the issues I did with patchiness, uh, fallout overload, not being able to blend and super dry? Because I'm hoping I just got a bad one. Just hoping I got a bad one. So anyways, that's my thoughts. Um, but yeah, just kind of really disappointed. And maybe it's me. Maybe it's just a bad makeup day. But um, anyways, I hope you like this Thank you so much video. for watching this video using the Divine Palette from Bad Habit Beauty. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. Let's make it a great one.